green cards for the Okeke family. We actually late, so if you'll excuse us. Read my rights. Jack, do you think you're smart? Take after my aunt. Angela Valdez. Tariq! What's the plan? These motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers set me up. Fuck! No more. Can't even fucking Drew, Diana. A snake bitch, Effie. You know what I mean? There's no way we're getting her. Let's get the fuck out of here. And we'll be on the run for the rest of our fucking lives, Pete. You do this, you can never go back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tariq, I made it up to you. Are we good? We like. You wanna come? And what? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hell no. How do I know you and Tariq ain't trying to run a long game? If you're jealous, just say that. Uh-huh. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang, to another video. We are officially five days away from the premiere of the last season of Power Buck 2 Ghost. And as you can see from that intro, we have so much to talk about with all these new exclusive clips, trailers, and everything else. So I will try not to make this video too long, but of course, we got to dive into the conversation between Tariq and Junior, him questioning Tariq about the green cards he got for Obi's family, the possible killing of him everything with that situation of course we got to talk about Anya Covington because I predicted that this was going to be Tariq's course of action his plan this is still Noma's weeks right and we see him and Brayden going on a mission to recover her and then we got to talk about all these new relationships that's forming with Kane Effie with Kane and Noma with Tariq and Anya Covington we see of course Effie trying to get back on Tariq good side it's just so much going on and all this is coming out like I said five to seven days prior to the season releasing without further to do leave a like comment subscribe this is probably going to be my last video before the season drops so let's get right into it now let's start up with his plan to kidnap Anya Covington Noma's daughter because as we know the season is going to pick up directly from where we left off at the end of season three with the shootout happening Tariq and Brayden escaping in the car of course we know this because we see in a trailer Noma telling them her Tariq problem in tonight they're wearing the same clothes and also we see a scene of Tariq and Brayden strapping up getting ready for a war once again wearing the exact same clothes they were wearing in the shootout and so we get the scene of Brayden asking Tariq what's the plan what are we gonna do and he's just distraught he's like they really try to set him up they try to kill him all of them snakes but he doesn't have no idea what to do going forward now we know Noma says she had her daughter move but it seems like with this leaked picture coming out she's gonna bring her daughter to her and Tariq and Brayden are set on a mission to get Anya Covington because that's their way out of the game now this also makes sense because in the leaked episode description I showed you guys and with the picture of Tariq and Brayden going back to Stansfield everyone was wondering what the fuck is he doing at school in the middle of the war it makes sense that if they were able to recover Anya Covington while going on this drill then this scene we see of Davis and Tariq meeting with Kane and Noma is to negotiate peace a truce to call everything off he give her Anya and they go about their business and that's why the episode 2 description describes them as being regular college students and everything like that so with these new scenes coming out we know they're more than likely taking place in episode one and this is what it's leading to now of course through this situation Tariq and Anya seems to have formed some type of relationship with one another which I also predicted way last year at the end of season three but we're going to talk about the in a relationship section later in the video but with this whole Anya Covington situation I think the biggest problem that's going to come for this is of course no one being mad at Obi and then if she was to find out that of course Tariq only escaped because of Obi and now her daughter is out there and now she has a chance of being exposed and everything like that then Obi is pretty much done for and with Junior asking questions about the green cards Tariq was able to get for his family I think the truth unfortunately will be revealed and that will be the end for our boy Obi but speaking of Junior Valdez let's get into that 
Now, of course, one of the biggest cliffhangers at the end of season three was the hard drive that Saks left for Junior Valdez, and everyone was wondering what was going to be on it. Was it going to be something tying Tariq to the ghost murder, or possibly him killing Ray Ray, or it had something to do with Angela? That's why he went to Junior specifically. We didn't know. Now, with this new scene and trailer coming out, we see that Junior is specifically asking Tariq about the green cards he got from Obi's family. Now, of course, we know he got these green cards from Tate, so they're going to have to help one another this season as they've been doing this entire time. But it looks like he's questioning him without any permission, any backup, anything else. I think he's going out of his way to do this because he's mad, he's angry, he's trying to get something done, but it's not gonna go the way he thinks. So he's asking him about these green cards, Tariq talking about he has his right, he can't question him, shit like that. But then Junior brings up Angela. And I think this will be a big mistake on his part and a main reason why Tariq decides to take him out. Because in this scene where we see them having this conversation, we see someone in the background with a gun look like they're more so targeting Tariq and Braden probably, but because they heard Detective Valdez is there, they decided not to shoot yet. But it looks like he's gonna get caught up in the crossfire. And I think they're gonna kill all the ones trying to take them out, but he's gonna get hit and Tariq is gonna finish the job. And since the hit got set on them, it's not gonna fall back on Tariq is what I think is gonna happen. And that makes sense why we see Braden telling him, stop, don't do it, because he's killing a cop, an officer, someone who's innocent. And Braden, he know they're in a war, that they're in the game, but I still don't think he's at the point with killing innocent people just yet so that makes sense that that's what's taking place in this clip i also think you guys told me that you saw in the trailer that it was junior shooting back at Tariq, but he possibly was helping them shoot back at the people who were coming to take them out possibly for noma once again got caught in the crossfire and Tariq is gonna finish the job and now we got to talk about all these relationships and betrayals that's about to take place. And I know this section seems less important compared to the rest, but I think this gives us a lot of information. And we're going to start with Effie because we didn't really get much about her going into this season until now. And we see her talking to Tariq at Sandsville, telling him, can they fix it? She made up for her mistakes or whatever she did, which is bullshit. They were literally about to kill him off him and go about their business. And he luckily got away so whatever she did to say she made up for it we just know off rep that's just cap but either way with her saying this a lot of people is believing she's still on his side and she's gonna betray Kane for him now this is interesting as well because we know Tariq got a lot of other shit going on but of course Diana being pregnant which we also see a scene in this trailer as well with her asking him do he want to come to the doctor's office with her? And that's why we got the scene of them in the office, of course, in the official trailer. But also, as I mentioned earlier, Tariq has something going on with Anya Covington. We see them sleeping together. We got to wait and see how their relationship advances, but we know it's going to take place this season. So once again, bro has three bad bitches, even though Lauren left. I don't know how he do it in the middle of a war. Bro just a goat at this point. But even with that taking place, Effie also is seemingly still trying to talk to Kane. We already got the scene of them kissing in the trailer, and within this new relationship trailer, we see them talking about him asking how we know she's not playing a long game with Tariq, and is she jealous of Kane and Noma? Yes, I said it. Kane and Noma are gonna start a relationship this season. Now, that seems weird and out of left field, but Kane does remind me a lot of Mecca, so I could see how it kind of formed and took place. But either way, it also makes sense because in a lot of the episode descriptions that were leaked that I told you guys about, we see that Noma is keeping Kane close, getting him to do the jobs, do the missions. I thought this was possibly because they killed Obi and she needed someone to replace him but this could be just because they're in a relationship now and she's helping him out we're gonna have to wait and see for that but Kane seems like he's gonna be juggling Noma and Effie Effie seems like she's gonna be juggling Kane and Tariq 
and Tariq seems like he's going to be juggling Anya, Diana, and Effie. It's just so much going on that a lot of betrayal is going to take place. A lot of backstabbing, twists, and turns that we're going to have to wait and see. But I think they're setting all this up in a way that's just going to have so much chaos going on that we don't know what to expect. Because the way they put the trailer together, you really don't get too much of anything, too much of one relationship more than the other. It seems like it's all taking place at the same time. So we're just going to have to wait and see how all of that unfolds overall that's it for this video like i said we had a lot of exclusives and i was able to match and put a lot of it together a bunch of it is going to take place within the first two to three episodes so that's good i mean the season is split into two parts of five each so we pretty much knew that that was to be expected but you guys could tell me your thoughts and opinions on all this down below about Tariq, his plan to kidnap anya covington the call of truth with noma him and brayden going back to school of course him junior Valdez taking them out if you believe that the hard drive just contains the shit above the green cards I feel like that's kind of weird that Sax was able to figure that out but if there's something else I can't wait to see what it is and also what you think about all these relationships who's gonna betray who who makes it out at the end of the season you guys can let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below like I said this is my last video before the season premieres so as usual leave a like comment subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys Friday to recap the first episode I'm out